Caitlin Clark's the new it. If you don't have a long ball, I'm talking about the 26, 30 feet, if you ain't doing the Steph Curry, you ain't got none of that long ball in your game, yeah, you're gonna be behind. You're doing stuff we've never seen before. Never seen nobody do that on a consistent basis. There's a lot of girls in WNBA that have that, that, done it in spurts, but you know, that game I'm watching y'all in the final four, I'm like, damn, like, and I was a hater, because you know I'm down, she was like, she's not gonna hit that shot, and bam. Like. Caitlin Clark is taking the basketball world by storm earning praise from fans and NBA legends alike. Her talent has boosted the WNBA's popularity, but the real game-changer came when Michael Jordan spoke out in her favor. NG's praise highlights just how special she is. NBA legend Rick Barry also defended Caitlin, calling out critics and attributing the negativity from some WNBA players to jealousy and fear of her skills. His words solidified Caitlin's rightful place in the game. I think it's reprehensible what they're allowing some of these players. Anybody that does something flagrant to this young lady for what she's brought to the game should be suspended and fined big time for doing that. WNBA legend George Gervin also voiced strong support for Caitlin Clark, calling out the disrespect aimed at her. He emphasized that Caitlin's talent deserves celebration, not criticism. Gervin's words made it clear. Caitlin's greatness is undeniable, and even the game's legends recognize it. His defense of her sends a strong message to anyone doubting her place in basketball. Know the value that she's bringing for all of them. She bringing, the, you know, they flying private planes down. They went fly, flying private before she came. They on major networks now. They weren't doing that. See, she remind me of Tiger Wood for golf. Jeff Teague, after a successful NBA career, criticized the Dowdy NBA for how it handled Caitlin Clark's entry, especially given her massive fan base. Like, they played this all wrong, bro. Terribly, bro. They was supposed to gas this shit. This is why people don't watch this shit when y'all leave college. Women's sports, because y'all hating on the best thing that's going to happen to the W. Jeff Teague's blunt delivery highlights a clear point. Despite Caitlin Clark's potential to drive positive change in the Delta NBA, she faced a tough reception. Teague criticized the negative treatment, stressing it hurts the league's growth and reputation. He believes Caitlin deserves better from her peers and the league. Meanwhile, Paul Pierce played a role in the early media backlash, questioning Clark's abilities and making controversial comments. However, he's since distanced himself from those remarks and started showing more respect after Caitlin was left off the U.S. Olympic team. Claim you want the women's game to grow, and then you keep the most popular girl in women's basketball off the team. How do you grow internationally and domestically if you don't put her on the U.S. team? It just makes the most sense. Sometimes you have to say, hey, you guys, this is bigger than the game, which it is. I mean, women's basketball is at an all-time high because of Caitlin Clark. Paul Pierce's comments on Caitlin Clark may sound respectful but he subtly questioned her skills, suggesting she should have made the U.S. Olympic team not just for her performance, but to grow the sport. This hints that she didn't earn the spot purely on merit. Known for stirring controversy, Pierce's words should be taken with caution as a way to stay in the spotlight. But the drama took a turn when Shaquille O'Neal gave Caitlin a glowing endorsement on Angel Reese's podcast. Shaq defended Caitlin in front of her critics, making it clear, Caitlin is special, and her greatness can't be ignored. And I was a hater because, you know, I'm down. She was like, she's not going to hit that shot. And bam, like, damn, she's not going to hit that shot. Man, like, if I say 10 times you're not going to hit the shot and you hit the shot, that means you're the truth. So I'm telling you now, if you just lower it, just lower it. Like Missing the biggest sports event of the year may have hurt Caitlin Clark. But NBA legend Dwight Howard saw it as a blessing in disguise. He suggested Caitlin could use the time off to improve and come back stronger. Looking back, Howard's words proved prophetic as Caitlin returned and dominated, proving his advice spot on. He is a great player, but it's a lot of players that, no lie, who, as far as basketball-wise, they have the edge over her of why they should be playing in the Olympics right now. Mind you, this should motivate her. This should give her. This should make her go harder in the gym. The three weeks that they off, she should get in better. Since the Olympic break, Caitlin Clark has looked like a different player. While being left off the team may have fueled her, traveling to Paris helped her find a new rhythm. Dwight Howard saw an opportunity in her omission, believing Caitlin could prove herself and outshine some players who made the cut. Hall of Fame point guard Isaiah Thomas, known for his sharp insight on and off the court, also spoke positively about Caitlin. However, he added a small twist to his praise, 
showing that he sees more than just her on-court abilities. I think it's great what she's done, and I think it's great what the media and the WNBA and marketing and the players are doing because, you know, controversy is not good, but, you know, controversy... Isaiah Thomas offered praise for Caitlin Clark, while subtly acknowledging the drama surrounding her rise. He recognized the media's role in amplifying negativity, but refused to add to it, saying focus on the bigger picture. Caitlin has earned local support, especially in Indianapolis, but still has a long way to go to match the legendary status of Reggie Miller. When asked about Caitlin, Miller kept it traditional, emphasizing that every rookie must prove themselves by handling adversity and competition. To him, every player must earn their spot. What did you expect was going to happen to her? Number one, I don't think it's jealousy. Oh my God, she's getting all the endorsements. We're going to go after her. You're playing at the highest level. You're playing in the WNBA. You're coming from college and you're going to the pro ranks, yeah. right? What did she expect was going to happen? What, why are people so shocked, yeah. right? You're playing against grown women. The same thing happened to us. Reggie Miller's perspective on competition may stem from his physical era in the NBA. But Caitlin Clark is facing more than just competition. She's confronting hostility. While she's expected to earn respect, the resistance she's met seems aimed at holding her back rather than pushing her forward. Her journey is about demanding fair treatment, even when the odds are against her. Magic Johnson, a prominent figure in women's basketball, has been paying close attention to Caitlin Clark's role in the WNBA. With his wealth and experience, Magic sees her potential and understands the broader context of her place in the league offering a balanced perspective on her impact. Now, Caitlin, her teammates got to come to her defense. Sure. You can't allow her to have to fight every battle, right? But we have to understand that both Caitlin, Angel, and Brink, who plays for my Sparks, they made the WNBA better. And they're going to be tested by these incredible women who've been in the league for a long time. Mm -hmm. Caitlin is the most popular WNBA player, but she's not the best at this time. Just like Larry and I were not the best when we entered right. the league, we became the best. Magic Johnson recently compared the rise of young WNBA stars like Caitlin Clark to his iconic rivalry with Larry Bird in the late 70s and 80s, which helped elevate the NBA. Magic emphasized the importance of strong teammate support as these young talents face challenges while giving Caitlin high praise. His recognition of her talent especially as a part owner of a rival team, speaks volumes. In contrast, Charles Barkley, known for his blunt style, has also weighed in on Caitlin's journey. While generally supportive, Barkley has pointed out how her game has evolved throughout the season, recognizing her growth and potential. The thing I love about her, she, does, she never says a word. And now, when I watch her, two things I like. She's playing much faster, much faster. She was playing too slow the first half of the season. From well, the first college of all, season. They, they didn't even give her the, the understanding, like, you girls been worried for the WNBA season. Y'all been working out on the no -strip. She came straight out of college. Charles Barkley highlighted how fatigue might have been a bigger factor than opposing defenses early on for Caitlin Clark. He pointed out that her recent surge in energy has helped her capitalize on transition opportunities, benefiting both her and her teammates. Barkley didn't hold back when addressing the hostility Caitlin has faced from some WNBA players. He criticized the unfair treatment, emphasizing that it goes beyond competition and seems personal. Women out there, no pity, man. Hey, LeBron, you 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty, girls. <laughs> I expect men to be petty because we're the most insecure group in the world. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dude. Barkley has zeroed in on the core issue with Caitlin Clark's situation. While competition is part of the game, there's a fine line between rivalry and malicious behavior. Caitlin has faced unnecessary physicality, which crosses that line. Barkley stresses that other players should recognize her value to the game instead of viewing her as a threat. He also criticizes the media for fueling the drama, turning what could be a story of celebration into one of division. I not have this Caitlin Clark thing up any worse if they tried. People believe what we say on television. Just because people don't like you or your personality, they can't get on TV and slander you. It's just total bullshit. This girl is incredible. The, the number of attention, eyeballs, she's bought the cards and the pros, 
And for these women to have this petty jealousness, you say to yourself, damn, what is going on here? Barkley's frustration is clear. He sees Caitlin Clark as the WNBA's future, yet feels the league isn't doing enough to protect her on the court or properly promote her rise to superstardom. The hesitation from the Lee and media bias are holding her back. Enter Michael Jordan, who threw his weight behind Caitlyn, calling out both the Dowdy NBA for not fully supporting her and the officiating for being unfair. His comments sent a powerful message that Caitlyn deserves respect, not just from players, but from referees too. Steph Curry also weighed in, acknowledging Caitlyn's shooting skills, which often draw comparisons to his own. However, as he points out, being like Curry isn't just about shooting. So if somebody break down the release time, which is pretty much identical to mine. You can't help but watch when she plays, where she's shooting from, the range, the confidence, the flair. Like, she's a performer. It's crazy, though, just because her shot is it's like that. It's at that level. If you really watch, like, the, her floor game is as impressive. So it's kind of the total package. Um, and her being the you know, friend breaking that record and the uh, amount of attention that she is, has gained over the course of these last couple of years. Every building she goes into, there's a different energy. Like, it's great for, uh, great for her, great for... It's about being a complete player, impacting the game in all aspects, and elevating your team. Caitlin is proving she can do that, and it's clear why Curry has been vocal in her praise. In the clock, go through shit, I'm watching out. Man, rookies, you're gonna go through some shit. And guess what? When you're in, when you got the when bulls out in, your back, yeah. yeah, when you in, it's gonna come with some shit. And nobody's hitting y'all with the, uh, uh, with the step back in the high. Yeah, it's a compliment. Yeah.